Our focus is working with people on low incomes or in poverty, and it always has been. The work we provide is around developing families' resilience. So to some extent, it's um, supporting people despite poverty. Part of the response is getting people into the building, being aware of our services. So we're trying to run some events to bring more families into the project. What we will be doing is we'll be providing more lunches, particularly during the colder months. We've got some winter coats to give out. We're doing more in terms of helping families understand their rights, making sure the information is out there, um, all the preventative stuff that we can do. So working relationships with the local food bank and the Westminster Abbey Pantry, so we could refer families for low cost food and we have a relationship with pret a as well. So we, we give out some free foods as well. In the winter months, we're gonna open longer and give people a little bit longer to stay in the wall, say they're heating. We have a great washing machine. We will offer that to families when we're not using it. We're providing free crash and we provide it for families who's, who have parents who uh, go across the Abbey Centre and do some um, vocational training. Again, kind of thinking more to sort of long-term uh, move out of poverty. During the summer, we took part in summer events and, and had lunches for families. And we'll do that again at half term and hopefully at Christmas. I think what, you know, part of what we want to do is to bring some joy to families as well. It's, it's not going to be, hopefully just coming to us isn't about relief. It's, you know, real pleasure having a feeling of community. You know, we're not a provider of income. We can't. We don't give out grants or anything, uh, but what we can do is make the experience of families better, help them with relationships, so that whatever goes on, they survive. You know, in terms of anxieties and concerns, a, a lot of it is around, you know, not not just around the um, you know practical things of paying bills and things, but just. Um, on the physical health and mental health of families and children. There's uh, lots of evidence to show that things like domestic violence rise uh, when there's an increase in poverty or, or in poorer families. So while one rises, there's likely to be an increase in the other. And I think we're going to be dealing a lot more with, with that as we go along. But there will be survivors who are coming in and what well, there are. In terms of specialist help, we, we do um, work with agencies around that. I mean, I mean, part of our role, really, I think, is to broker those relationships because, um, you know, we particularly get families from communities where talking about domestic violence in the community is difficult or even in their own families. So a lot of what we do is helping families settle, feel comfortable and being open to talk to us. And that's by trying to create a welcoming space that's diverse, um, giving people time to settle. And families are telling us this is, it's, it's like their second family.